Hey guys, I'm on UK here. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Last week I was talking to Ant's Two Pharmacariums about him sending me a Pharmacarium so that I could review it. And he was kind enough to send me one. Turns out the guy only lives 20 minutes away from me. And he posted me this two days ago and it arrived yesterday. Um, he wants me to look over it and to suggest any improvements because it's still like it's still a new design that he's making. And also when we do finally get to the sort of product stage that we want, so it's absolutely perfect for keeping ants, we are then going to start selling them on my website, ankeeping.co.uk. So you guys will be able to get your hands on these pharmacariums for really cheap, because we're not going to steal your money, like some other ant keepers. Um, was that really bad of me? <laughs> oh well. Anyway, um, this is a really really nice little pharmacarium you get a pipit you get a water dish you get seeds you get test tubes um, it's a white hung block inside of a crystal clear acrylic box um, you've got a lid for the top and the lid's got its own ventilation nothing's gonna get out that ventilation by the way um, but there was a few things that I noticed that was wrong with this uh, pharmacarium and that was one of them was the port for actually Pouring your colony into the pharmacarium is right at the front of the display where the white tongue is. So, my recommendation to my friend who sent me this is maybe put two ports on the back so that you could have one of those ports for introducing a colony and another port to attach an outworld. Once the colony has moved in from that test tube, people can use that for whatever they want. You know, they could attach another pharmacarium so they've got more nesting space. Or you could just attach another outworld. You know, it could go on and on and on. So maybe remove the front port and we'll have put two ports on the back and the ants will find their own way into the nest. Especially if you make it dark, you know, like if you put like if you put some cloth over it or something just to darken up the actual form of curry and the ants will eventually move in. Besides that, it's it's really, really, really good. I was really impressed. And he was telling me that these are not that much to make so we can keep the prices low which is great because I know there's a lot of other ant keepers out there I'm not going to mention names but you guys know it as well um, there's a lot of people out there who are stinging people to purchase their ant set up so wild and so wonderful and stuff but you know um, this is why I like this guy is because he sent me this for free I didn't pay him anything and I appreciate that and it's an absolute fantastic little setup, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it for my Mesa Barberries Queen, and she'll be moving into this hopefully in the next, what, maybe when she's got her first workers, I'll probably move her into this. It's really, really cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, and uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.